Okay, you're a big fella. Easy now. Oh, that's not good. <laughs>Hey guys, Shadis here, welcome back to another Gears of War 4 video. It's been 25 years since Marcus Phoenix and Delta successfully activated the Emotion Countermeasure Machine, killing off the Lambent Parasite as well as forcing the Locust to become extinct. With the new enemy known as the Swarm being introduced for the first time in Gears 4, there is so much mystery surrounding them, it's hard to speculate on what their origins are possibly of these new creatures but the coalition studio have confirmed Gears 4 is Emergence Day 2.0. We will actually learn about where the swarm have come from in the game itself but for right now all we can do is discuss and speculate. So for the swarm origins what we know so far about how the creatures are connected is that the snatchers kidnap people being swallowed whole and instead of being eaten they are encased into fleshy red pods to incubate them bringing them onto a whole whole new transformation. If incubated for a certain amount of time, once the pod is opened up by either players shooting at them or by other means necessary, they actually emerge transforming from a captured human into the juvie creatures. Juvies are the very fast, agile, humanoid-like swarm enemies that rush human players, bouncing from wall to wall, climbing over anything. Giving enough time note in the world itself, a juvie might eventually evolve into something more intelligent and deadly. As a juvie ages, its skin hardens, taking on a deeper red colour, eventually evolving into a swarm drone. So that's what happens to humans that are kidnapped by these swarm snatchers in Gears of War 4, being turned into juvies that some may eventually evolve into a swarm of drones, but we can't really explain how the other swarm enemies came to be that we've seen so far, either being the pouncers as well as the carrier. But we also can't explain the reason behind why the Swarm are kidnapping people in the first place, we just don't know. Now JDK and Dell themselves in the game don't understand also why the Swarm are kidnapping people or where the Swarm have come from, but they get the idea that they actually might be connected in some way to the extinction of the Locust species, so the three characters travel to an old Locust burial ground. After the war at the end of Gears of War 3, there were just too many locust bodies for the cog to properly dispose of them all. As a result, the dead locusts were crawled into several mass graves across planet Syrah, and they believe one of these big site graves may actually contain clues to the sudden appearance of these swarm enemies. For me personally, the whole idea of visiting a locust burial grave mine in Gears of War 4 is insane because they were the main enemy of the old games but moving forward being able to see them all dead in the game itself is going to be such an awesome part of the campaign but of course being able to actually learn about the swarm origins this time around and not to be left guessing like we were previously with Epic Games and the Locust is of course as exciting as well. Please make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think about the Swarm Origins as well as the opportunity to visit a Locust burial site 25 years since Gears of War 3 took place. Give this video a thumbs up and share it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks for watching and as always I shall see you in the next one.